me, uh, when I heard Elizabeth talk about this, and I'm, I'm very um, proud to be a supporter of the project, I think uh, she has, um, you know, a very distinct vision on mm -hmm. telling. Um, mm -hmm. there, there's, there's lots of different, again, you know, sort of stories that float around, uh, mm -hmm. specifically in India. How did he get here? What was his mission? What did he do? Uh, but I think what I really like is that she's actually taking this one step further and making it very immersive, uh, mm -hmm. using technology, using you know VR. She's actually trying to recreate that entire era, and mm -hmm. it stops being about the person, but it starts being about that journey, and you can almost be in it and be a part of you know what was happening at that time all around you. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that's very important. Sometimes when documentaries are talking heads and, and you know, just perspectives, it can get boring. It becomes a history lesson. Mm -hmm. uh, but to be able to recreate a world uh, that you can then take your audience, you know, along with you on that journey to see for themselves and decide for themselves rather than be told. Uh, it's that, you know, are you feeding them or are you opening them to a world of, 